and if you wait for it, right there when she turns around, I got this shot and I absolutely love this shot. What's happening YouTube? Happy New Year to you and welcome to another street photography behind the scenes video. This will be the first video of the year and we're starting with a short New Year's Eve street photography session. Before we even got to the fireworks we're walking through Centre City and I've seen this puddle before but the sun's hitting City Hall really nice and I try and shoot like one of those upside down puddle type photos. A guy goes by on a bike and it didn't work out that well, he's blocked off City Hall but I know what I was going for and I can always come back to it. And then I just took a plane shot of City Hall and flipped it and it's it's fine. And then my mother and stepfather were visiting and I wanted to take them up for like a nice view of the city somewhere. Uh, my mum's not very keen on heights so I wanted to make sure it was indoors so we went inside this Lowe's hotel here. And there's this nice room here that I like, I've took pictures of it before, but I just I always take this picture when I come up here and the light's nice. And I also take this same picture when I come up here with William Penn sort of framed in the Comcast building behind it. And I just like this view here, I have never took it with 50mm before, I've always shot it with like 85 Different time of day, different light, it's always interesting to see how the light changes up there. I also tried framing a little bit with the window here. I thought that black bit on the side was a bit too distracting so I tried it from a different window as well so then it just became a simple frame and I quite like this one, I think it's kind of cool. Then tried one like this, I didn't notice my wife standing like that but that would have been a really good wide angle picture. So a little bit later on we're walking down towards the fireworks, we're just waiting on them starting. This is the slightly earlier than midnight fireworks, they do some like at 6 o'clock to I guess it's for families and stuff. But we went to that one because we did not feel like trying to make our way back out of the city at midnight. So I watched the fireworks for a little while and then I think I'll go and start taking a few pictures. I was just looking for people either doing interesting things or with interesting clothes on or something. This one was kind of a warm up shot. Whatever, I don't really like it but I do like the bokeh in the background of the fireworks. And moving around a little, I see this family that's sitting on the roof of their car here. So I set up behind them for a bit lining up those fireworks just waiting on like a couple good big ones to go off and this one was perfect right here and i really like this one i thought it came out almost perfect i like that the fireworks just are like filling the frame at the top and then uh the the whole family sitting at the bottom and you can tell they're on the roof of their car i really like that one take a couple more here and there's different variations on the same photo i like i like all of them to be honest i think the first one might be my favorite but i do like that these are brighter then I see this couple that are just kind of hugging, standing alone. I'll line them up with the fireworks as well. And I couldn't get the colours to work right with this one, but I did like it in colour better than black and white. But um, I think it works okay and I just like the sort of gesture of them holding each other and then the firework going off in the distance. And I stood and watched the fireworks again for a minute. Got a shot of just the crowd with the fireworks going off and I, I don't really like this one. But then I see this woman with a really interesting hat and I mean it's a very cliche thing to find people with interesting hats but whatever it works well a lot of the time and there's a reason why it's cliche. So I just wait behind her for a while, uh, set my focus point and just wait for some good fireworks to go off and we get these coloured ones just from taking practice shots actually I get this and it actually turns out really nice. I really like the sort of magenta fireworks colours. I lightened up the hat slightly just to bring out the, the kind of the highlights there, it was a little bit dark. But um, yeah, really happy with this one, don't really care that it's a cliche photo. And I continued waiting here to see if maybe she would hold her phone up or if there was some kind of gesture. And if you wait for it, right there when she turns around I got this shot and I absolutely love this shot. It was a JPEG, straight out of camera. I did not edit this at all and it was pretty much exactly the kind of photo that I was hoping to make, if not even better because I wasn't expecting to get a face in there. Lots more of these videos to come this year as well as reviews and whatever other kind of videos I can think about making. If you enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button and make new videos every single week. Thank you very much for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video as well and 
I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.